Hey, I remember the silk. We're almost there. Nah. You got another hour at least. I know what I'm talking about. It's just over this next hill. Hey, let me have a sip of that beer. Yeah, uh, the cooler's right under your no, feet. No, I don't want to hold it. I just want to sit. Hey, uh, where did you meet this Sarah chick? Three weeks ago. Why? Hear that? Just go meet the woman, and when? Three weeks later, she's got him on the wagon. <laughs> Maybe he'll lose some weight. Maybe he'll lose his virginity. <laughs> hey, you <laughs> jerk. Yeah, you jerk. Relax. We'll be at the spring soon. You can slip out the driver's side before Sarah even catches a whiff. <laughs> you don't lie to each other. Yeah, I get you, Jeff. Sniff it out anyway, you know. She's got a sharp nose. I mean, I didn't want to say anything before, but she's kind of, you know, uh... Hey, what are you uptight about? I got most of it on Bill. Yeah, well, we're at the top of that hill, and we ain't nowhere near there yet. Not this hill, the next one. Yeah, right. want to bet? On what? On an ain't just over that hill. Yeah, well... Five? Okay. <laughs> Where did you get that? Little whole unemployment check, huh? Got it. Yeah. Did you swipe it? Yeah. Did you swipe it? Getting caught with that motorcycle didn't scare you enough, did it? I got off. You got off. You got lucky as all. You got lucky to get off so damn easy. You lucky son of a... You swipe it? Stupid I told you I got it. Yeah, just woke up one morning. And it was there, huh? Hey, don't get so tight, buddy. Here. Have another spray. Hey, why'd we stop? Are we there? Isn't it just over this hill? Hey, hey, you guys. They can't hear you. I can hear them. Bill and Mel are arguing. What's it about this time? I can't tell. Bill and Mel argue a lot, don't they? Well, for as long as I've known them, they were in the Marines together. Mel really wanted to fight. Bill told me, I think it's another hour's ride. What? Oh, yeah. Thank you, dear. Bill and I never argue. Uh-huh. Really? Except I like this hunting business even less than I like the drinking. Wild animals are so sweet. I could never kill one. I can't accept killing either. It's so pointless. Right. Neither can I. Everything has a, a right to live, right? That's the way I see it. Our parents brought us up that way. Great. That's how I'm going to raise my kids. Are you guys hot? I'm boiling. Let's get cooler. What are you looking for, dear? I'll help you find it. Sarah, I talked to you about that. Lynn, you packed my bikini, didn't you? I can't find it. Will you get it for me? No. I told you when Mom and Dad died that you'd have to start doing things for yourself.
Oh, you guys are always thinking about that. You don't leave as much choice, Dolphy. Oh, have you been drinking? Oh, Mel spilled some beer down my throat. Yeah, and he spilled a six-pack of beer right down after it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that reminds me, you still owe me five dollars. Later, man. Okay, if I can have this ring as down payment. Shut up about the ring, will you? Hey, look what Mel stole this time. Hey, you really bought a ring? Let me see. Let me see. I think a nice ring makes a guy look kind of, um, sexy, you know? I don't know. That really is nice. Hey, Bill, steal me one, would you? I didn't steal anything! I was, I was only kidding. Here, put some clothes on. It's too hot. You can't go walking through the woods with your body bare. All right. Now, have you got everything in your pack? Did you leave anything in the camper when you got your bikini on? I don't know. Go look for me. No. If you don't remember, then you can just do without. Okay, I'm going in. You can walk with me when we're ready I'll to walk go. with Mel. Who's in there? That's the wind. You're not sore at me? Hey, you can forget about that five you owe me, okay? Sure. Hey, check this out. Yeah, so what? Uh, just check it out. What are you going after? Buffalo or something? Exploding bullets. Yeah, that's what I meant. Shit, these are dangerous, man. What do you need these for? You shoot a deer with this and you blow it half away. Oh, man, you don't know nothing. <laughs> They're just cool. One shot and... <laughs> Yeah, cool. Just don't get caught with them. to walk with you. Oh, she can't. She's gonna slow me down. Oh, yeah. Oh, I guess it'll be all right. Mel, I'm thirsty. Here, it's heavy. No way. Well, it was only helping. Thanks, but no thanks. No one helped Mel on with his pack. Listen, you men are all brainwashed to think that women are weak. Oh, God, you've been talking to your sister again. Every time we talk to her, you just come up with that live stuff. <laughs> Give me your hands, Rayville. So how about it? You guys want to take that other trail? I don't know. We haven't been up that way before. Can't be sure there'll be a decent campsite. Oh, I'll find one. Yeah, right. Campsites are a dime a dozen. Even at those prices, you won't get one unless you steal it. We've been up that way so many times before, the deer up there know what kind of beer we drink. Well, I don't mind doing a new trail. Bill? Yeah, OK. If anything goes wrong, I'm blaming him. <laughs> OK, let's do it then. Hey, did anybody remember the fireworks? Yeah, I put them in Sarah's pack. I'm not going to carry all that. Take them out. Hey, I'll tell your sister if you don't carry them. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to see you tell her anything. <laughs> Shoot me.
me a buck this time. Big sucker. Yeah. Did you ever kill anything before, Bill? Sure, before you met me. <laughs> what, when you were nine? again. Are you okay? I hear bells. It's just an echo in your head. It's not in my head. It's coming from over there. I don't hear anything. She probably hears lots of things we don't. Blind people generally have better hearing than the rest of us. Don't talk about me like I wasn't here. Sorry. Um... I'll go check it out. Rest here. I'll be right back.
guys. Look what I found. No! No! Hey, what happened? I heard those bells. And then those other sounds. I knew you were in danger. Bells? Oh, oh yeah, here comes a snow job. Bells? Oh, I didn't hear any bells. I didn't. Oh, hell, you're the biggest. Wait a minute, Bill. You really didn't hear them? Honestly, I didn't even hear anything that sounded like bells. I can't believe you. You only scared half to death, and you're playing idiot games. Will you shut up? We heard bells, loud ones. Kiyomi heard them before the rest of us. They sounded like a funeral. Sarah, you're scaring Kiyomi. Come on, I didn't, I didn't hear no bells. Come on, let's go take a look at these ruins I found. Come on. Hey, look, I found a glade. We can dump our gear there, and well, then we can check out the graveyard. Okay? Graveyard? Oh, come on, at least he found us a camp. Hey, will you look at this? I bet nobody's been here since the Civil War. Well, if someone has, I don't feel they want us here. Hey, there's no fence around it. You're right, man. This place is at least 100 years old. There sure are a lot of names on this one. What a lovely old church. Church? Hey, church bells. Mel, you clown. What are you whining about? You were right, honey. Mel, you idiot, leading us on, scaring Kiyomi like that. You goofy bozo. I knew it all along. Bringing the church bells to scare the women. <laughs> Even had Wyatt going. You're the bozo, bozo. There's no bell in that church. I looked. Ask Wyatt. I don't like this place. Huh. Wyatt's probably on this, too. I'll check it out for myself, thanks. Old, old place. It's so overgrown. Look for a bell, man. You know Mel rang those bells himself. Nah, there were more than a few bells going. He would have needed help. Even if there was a bell in here. Geez, you guys got an A1 act going. But I'm not buying this crap. Hey, take a look at this. <laughs> you found the bell, I knew oh, it. Knock it off. Look. original. Hey, you guys, come here. Look what we found. It's so old. It must be worth a lot. There must have been a battle here. Doesn't say anything about a battle on any of those stones. Just a list of names like they're all buried in the same grave. Must be 50 or 60 guys buried out there. Mel, I don't like it here. I don't want to go. Now, quiet, Kiyomi. I want to check this out. You should keep it. Put it back. But Kiyomi, it might be worth a lot of money. But it belongs to someone. You shouldn't take it. If it belongs to anyone, it belongs to those dead soldiers out there. You think they're going to need the money? Money? It means more than money to them. They died here. It should stay here with them. If any of us takes it, we'll all be guilty. What? Isn't it obvious? Why do you think the bells rang? They don't want us here. You can't take that. Whatever you found, you, you can't take pain from the dead. What are you talking about? I know what she means. Our grandmother was in Hiroshima when the bomb was dropped. We saw her in Japan when we were kids, just before she died. She had leukemia from the radiation. I can't translate too well from the Japanese, but she told us that the dead had no use for anything they had in life, and that all their possessions, everything, belonged to the living. 
but you can't take their pain away. They're jealous of their pain. You can take anything from the dead, but their pain. What are you doing? I'm putting it back. It doesn't belong to us. Then who does it belong to? Bunch of dead rebels? It's ours! It's not ours! It belongs to someone. If not to those Confederate soldiers out there, then to whoever owns this land. It's not ours to take, understand? What are you? Some kind of a saint? Nobody's been here in years. Uh. Nobody gives a damn about the old flag. Don't just stand there. Take the flag. Sarah, shut up. Oh, holy shit. Don't any of you believe me? I don't believe a don't. word of it. Don't bugger, Mel. Look, it didn't just move by itself. You fell off. It was still moving after I fell off. I saw it. OK, OK. You knocked it down a gopher hole. That's all. You moved it. They moved it. Now, don't start that. I don't like this place. Let's just go. Man, she gives me the creeps. Why don't you put the gun away, Mel? You've been fooling with it all night. Afraid of the dark, Mel? <coughs> yeah. You can hold me instead of the gun. I'm not afraid of the dark. Okay, let me put this away. It's about time. Is that a 
them work it out themselves, okay? Okay. Want to camp here tomorrow? Maybe uh, do a little honey? I don't know. Guess so. <coughs> Bill wants a base here tomorrow. What do you think? Uh, sounds good. Say, we're pretty far from that camper. You think we could haul a buck back there by ourselves? Shouldn't you guys have thought of that earlier? Come to think of it, there ain't that much room in that camper. If we kill something, you're going to have to stay at the church with all your rebel friends. <laughs> I'll go for it if I can take Kiyomi home. How about it, Key? She may be blind, but she knows a raw deal when she sees one. Go on, kiss her for real. We won't look. bad for a beginner. Uh, well, three strong men ought to be able to get a buck out of here, okay, don't you think? With the help of three strong women, you mean. Oh, no, not that lib stuff again. Have it your own way. But if Sarah and I killed anything, we carry it back ourselves. I couldn't kill anything, not even a... What is it? What is it? It's a bug! Hell, it was, it was right on my hand! <laughs> a bug? <laughs> <laughs> it's not funny, you guys! <laughs> You killed it. You get to carry it home. I hate bugs! Hey, look at that! What the hell is that? It's pretty. That's really weird. What's going on? Oh, a bunch of lights out in the trees. Yeah, it must be some other campers. That yeah, doesn't look like a campfire to me. We've got fireworks. Maybe they've got some, too. I don't hear any fireworks. Yeah, it looks like it's happening up at that old church. Hey, maybe somebody's having a party up there. Let's crash it. Nah, you guys can. I'm going to sleep. I don't want to be hunting with a hangover tomorrow. And you promised to stop drinking, remember? Yeah, I'm off the bed too. Let those jerks party if they want. You coming, Sarah? Yeah. yeah. Those sure are strange fireworks. <laughs>
Some adventure, huh? Sarah's getting on my nerves. Yeah. But what about Kiermi and Mel? What about them? I can't tell her she's wasting her time. She's too stubborn. That's why I can't get her to do things for herself. She sits around and pouts until somebody offers to help. She plays on their pity. Well, then maybe she's met her match. Mel doesn't seem to have much pity. Huh. I was ready to kill him this afternoon. Kiermi was scared out of her wits when he went off like that. Honestly, I can't see how she can be so attached to him. Are you sure that's all it was? I mean, she seemed pretty flipped out over those bells and whatever else it was she heard. I don't know. Well, it's her first time in love. She'll learn from it. She's dependent, but not stupid. Well, that's it. She'll learn a lot. I just hope she's not hurt too badly. Now what? Oh, I cut myself. Look. Let's just forget about sleeping doubles tonight. I really don't feel like it anyway. What do you mean? We haven't done it all week. Listen, I am tired of you grabbing at me every time I take my clothes off. I am a person too, you oh. know. Oh, God. Still on that kick, huh? And another thing. You treated me like a child back in that graveyard. That cross did move by itself. I felt it. If I can just get this zipper to work, I'll make the earth move under you again. Well, that's all you think about. Here, give me that. There. Now, come on. I'm sleepy. Better check for bugs first. I hate bugs! Mel, are you cleaning your gun? Are you awake again? Uh-huh. What are you doing? Nothing. Then why don't you get in your sleeping bag and go to sleep? I'm busy. You just said you were doing nothing. Why don't you get into your sleeping bag and go to sleep? I can't sleep with the lights on. <sighs> now, how did you know the light was on? I didn't, but I do now. What are you doing? Reading. Read to me. You wouldn't like it. I love books. I read Braille, you know. Just let me hear some of it. Oh, I'm tired. I've got to get some sleep. Mel, quit treating me like a stranger. I just want you to be close to me. Even Sarah reads to me. And I don't even like her. Please? Okay, but don't tell anyone. What? That you read to me? Promise? That's what it takes. Sure. The war is over and we have lost, but must fight on. How humiliating it is to ask my men to continue their retreat. Most are no more than boys clad only in rags. If only they could lay down their arms. But the Union presses us deeper and deeper into the forest. If I could wring Lincoln's neck with my own hands, I could die a happy man. He is taking the best of our youth when we are weary of seeing them lost. Now he wishes to steal from us even the pain of our defeat by continuing this war beyond any gentleman's endurance. Let me see here, it says, Today a courier came to us, more dead than alive. The story he told made my blood run chill. The men we lost in this last skirmish were not as I had hoped taken prisoner. A bloodlust is upon us. It seems an inhuman craving for punishment. Perhaps they have been driven to it, as weary of war as we ourselves. But there is no excuse for these atrocities they have committed upon our men. Torture. Torture is not a weapon in a gentleman's armory. You took that from the church, didn't you? No, honey, I swear. Don't lie to me. Keep your voice down. Mel, it's evil. It's just a story. Why did you take it? I don't know. I just wanted it. Just like the motorcycle, just like the ring. Look, I said I was sorry about those things. It's just a book. It belongs to a dead man. It won't be missed. You wanted it. You just took it. Look, I said I was sorry. No. 
Oh, when I heard those bells and those other sounds the others didn't hear, I was so scared. Mel, when I was nine, I had a collie pup. My parents wanted me to feed it and take care of it. I guess I was supposed to learn to take care of myself. One morning I woke up and I felt that something was wrong with my puppy. I went out into the garage and she was there. Nothing was wrong at all. But I still felt so scared. Mom and Dad told me not to think about it and I tried. But I just kept getting more and more frightened. I kept the dog with me all day. But when we had dinner, they made me tie her up in the yard. She slipped her collar and dug under the fence. I heard car brakes, and no one else did. They thought I was being hysterical. But when they went outside, my puppy was dead in the street. Mel, I felt a hundred times more scared today when I heard those other sounds. I don't know all about that. It's just a book, Kiyomi. Hold me, Mel, please. Please, just hold me once. If I hold you, will you promise not to tell the others? That you hold me? No, about the book. Oh, Mel. Just promise, and I'll hold you all night if you want. Like this. Be like what, Kyo? Everything's fine now. What did you mean before about hearing about hearing those other sounds? Nothing. Everything's fine now. Kiyomi, is that you? Hey, get down!
Get the hell out of here! the camper. I want to go home. Where is the camper? Hell, I don't know. Damn it, Mel. It was your idea to take the new trail. Now, where the hell are we? You're always screwing up. You brag and act like you know it all, but you don't know a thing. You're a liar and a thief. You're not even any good at that. Oh, fuck off. Hi, right, hi. Right. Leave him alone, Phil. We've been wandering all night, probably in circles. None of us could know where we are. We've got to find a road. Do you think they followed us? I don't know. We'd better be careful in any case. I'm scared. It's okay. We'll find a road and get out of here. Why didn't they go for that party at the church last night? Don't you understand? That was the party from the church. They were the soldiers, the men from the graveyard. Oh, no. no. You don't know that. Then who were they? Some of them were in uniform. So what? Some backwood kids? Some makeup and some costumes? Phil, they walk right through bullets. You saw what it took to stop them. I can't believe it. Don't then, I don't care. Hey, let's get moving again. They've got scouts and we're in one place too long. It'll bring the rest of them down upon us, and fast. Yeah, you're right. They'll be fighting like soldiers, waiting for us to be off guard. We should keep moving. I want a gun, too. No! We've got to stick together if we're... <laughs> doesn't bother them anymore. Three scouts. Maybe there were four. They might be coming back soon. Well, then we better change direction and throw them off. Come here! Come here! Does that look human? You lousy bastard, does that look human? Damn you, Mel. Cut the shit before I kill you myself. Stop here before the sun goes down. Listen, I don't think we can afford to stop. I've been hearing something behind us for the past several miles. We haven't lost them, have we? It doesn't look like it. It's almost dark. What are we going to do? Kiermi hasn't said a word all day. Well, we'll be moving at her speed at night. It'll be easier for her. Kiyomi, are you all right? Ki? Sis, I love you. You rest here a while. I'll go send Mel over. She's not doing well. Mel, go talk to her. I'm going to hike back a ways and see if there really is somebody following us. Maybe we can lose the main group if I off the scout.
Lenny, don't! What do you want? I want Kiyomi to be all right. Oh, jeez. We ain't got time for that now. She needs you, Mel. She don't need me. You're her sister. You help her. Do you sleep with her? Now, what kind of question is that? You're using her. She don't have to hang out with me. I don't twist her arm. You're twisting her heart. Yeah, I got you figured out, too. You're stuck with that runt, White. And you're jealous. Get back with the others. Go on! Go! All right, son, you're covered. Put your gun on the ground and your hands in the air. You too, miss. Franklin? Okay, son, now you've got a lot of explaining to do. Providing I feel like listening. And to tell you the truth, I ain't all ears at the moment. He's clean, Hal. Okay, now, son, why don't you tell us why you're so jumpy? I... Uh, oh, shit. They're, they're not gonna believe this. Look, officers, we were attacked last night. Some men tried to kill us. We fought them off and ran, but got lost in the woods. Men? How many? Thirty. Maybe 40. They've been tracking us all day. We killed three of their scouts this morning. Killed? You don't understand. They weren't even alive. Their faces were all rotten. You can't even stop them with the bullet. They, they... Okay, I can see that you kids have had a bad scare. But that doesn't let you off, son. Not for one minute. I still got to take you in. But what about those men that attacked us? Don't you believe us at all? Look, I don't know what the bullet is. It does seem to tie in. You see, the governor's got a little pet project up over that hill. A little church and graveyard. Last night, somebody broke into it, dug up all the graves, and made off with the bodies. Sicko! Real twisted sicko. But that's who attacked us! That's what I'm saying. Any nut with so little respect for the dead ain't bound to have too much left for the living. No, no, you don't understand. They were like walking dead men. They came out of the trees and just went berserk. Come out of the trees, did they? Mel, Liz. Is everything? Oh, God. Are oh, we glad to see you guys. How many more of you are there? There's six of us all together. My sister's blind and she's pretty scared. I wish you'd help us get out of here. OK, first I'm going to send Franklin here back down the trail. If someone is tracking you, we ought to find them. Look, uh, hike back on down the trail a ways and check things out. These kids think they were attacked by corpses. I think whoever dug up those graves is swing the bodies out of trees on ropes, like puppets. Even gives me the creeps. Gotta have the wife quit playing with that Ouija board. Now, if they pull any surprises on you, don't let yourself get spooked. I'm going to take these kids back up the hill and call for another car to come and get the blind girl. Okay? Okay, Chief. Okay, kids. Let's go collect your friends. There's a trail on the other side of that brush that leads up to a road. You must have been hiking along next to it all day. Thank God. It's over at last. He got off by himself? He's a big boy, miss. No lunatic with a hank of rope and a sense of humor is going to scare him. A hank of rope? I'll explain it when we get your group together. Spooky business. I'm sure glad I never uptook undertaking like my daddy wanted. You found our camp this morning? Yeah. Then you knew we were attacked. Yeah, I'd say you were attacked. Not by walking corpses, though. What the hell do you mean? We left a half a dozen of them laying back there. Nope. Found no bodies at all. Just a lot of bullets in trees. One of you boys using exploding bullets? Yeah, OK. That's another charge you'll face.
Six kids. Right? Yeah. One of them's blind. Down blind? Yeah. Listen, send another car up for her. Yeah, the ridge, huh? Yeah, far trail above Agony Ridge. You know why they call it that? No, I don't know why they call it that. Okay. Yeah? Got a trigger happy city kid here, too. Oh, boy. I'll bring him in later. What's that? I want to talk to them. Good call yeah. Morning. Right. Okay. As soon as Franklin comes back. Hey, no, oh, the governor's outhouse is fine. His kinfolk got up and took a little walk, is all. <laughs> I wish he would. Yeah. Okay, copy and out. Careful. out here in 15 years. You wouldn't believe some of the spooky things people do. You've got your garden variety psychopath here. A little more sense of humor than most, but no different, really. Anyway, this guy and his pals steal a few bodies now and then and wait for some campers to come along. You kids were just in the wrong place at the wrong time. Now, in the middle of the night, it's easy to get fooled. They know that. They get some rope, drop the bodies down from some trees, and sort of dance them around a little. Dance them around? What are you, nuts? They attacked us in broad daylight. They're not dancing. They're trying to kill us. Look. No, no, you've got to shoot for the head.
down that way. There must be a main road down there. Yeah, well, what if they were heading back to the main road? You go one way, I'll go the we other. We can't leave the women. Then you take them. No, look, you take Sarah. If something happens... No, I'll go faster alone. We can't waste time arguing. Okay, okay, let's get going. Lynn? I heard. Yeah, we were going. I'll go with Mel. No. I want Mel. I want Mel. Let her go Quiet. with him. She'll fight us all the way if we don't. Mel. Not Kiyomi, too. Mel, please. I only feel safe with you. Okay. Stay with Sarah. And don't make any noise.
Stay back. I've got to clear a path. I don't know. I get up. Where's Kiyomi? Uh, they attacked us. We got him. But Kiyomi was mauled pretty bad. Come on, try to move. We found a house up the road. The owners are dead. I came back to wait for you. The ghouls are all over the place. I hid in the bushes. Come on. I'll carry Kiyomi. Oh, God, why? Shut up and help him walk. Come on. Inside. I'll get Kiyomi inside and wait for my signal.
look. I just don't understand. It's like a vendetta or something. Why are they after us? Never mind that. Just shoot. I still want to know, why us? You know something, don't you? Lynn? It's... it's okay. It's the diary. What? It's all written down. Everything that was done to them. Everything that was done to whom? The soldiers. They were tortured. The captain wrote it all down. I don't understand. Mel stole it. It's the captain's diary. The Union soldiers tortured his men. The captain wrote it all down. All their pain. And Mel took it. Mel? Mel stole it. Sarah, come sit with Jimmy. I'm going upstairs. Why did... I know. Listen to this. For three days now, I have lain in this church. A house of God made a prison cell by the beast of the Union Army. The screams of my men are almost more than I can endure. Today I have been told by my cruel warders, Corporal Macklin, a flag bearer, was flayed alive. His skin was peeled back from his face last of all, and he died screaming inarticulate curses at his torturers. I have no hope for my own life. <laughs> Getting closer. But the Union scum had made one fatal mistake. They had let me keep my servant, a Barbados slave who is, he said, well versed in the heathen voodoo of the Caribbean. May the Lord forgive me. I must abandon his word for the curses of this slave, and I am sure no heaven awaits me for such a sin. But I would endure hell itself for eternity to see my revenge taken on our tormentors. If this holy place has been defiled by the madness of the Union soldiers, then the blood of our dead has made it holy once more. Christ suffered alone with his pain on the cross. Can we do any less? This agony is all we have left, and no man shall long remain alive who seeks to take it from us, even though we be in our graves. We're in for it now. God, what have we been doing? No, stop it. We can't back down. We have to. We've been wrong all along. What the hell do you think we can do? Apologize? We can give the diary back.
Give me that diary. 